Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, LearningDSLRVideo.com. So I've got the Panasonic GH4 Infrared View. Awesome little camera. I'm actually thinking about um, buying it. I've got Infrared View. I've got it for a couple more weeks. Um, so I hope to have the review done then. This is not a review. This is actually an issue I found with it. And I've had um, a couple of uh, contacts over at Panasonic, which have been very responsive and very nice about answering my questions as I've run up to little quirks and stuff like that. Um, I've never had anybody from Canon be this responsive or even reach out to me, um, which has been awesome. Um, but one of the issues I'm having with it is using the Rode VideoMic Pro with this camera. Right now I'm using the 5D Mark III with the Rode VideoMic Pro. And as many of you guys know, I like to keep things quick and simple sometimes, um, and I don't use dual sync sound that often. So what I usually do is I plug the microphone directly into the camera. And right now the 5D Mark III, basically the preamp is turned all the way down, just basically one click up. And the Rode VideoMic Pro is set to a plus 20. Um, and that's really kind of still of a weak signal. And I usually in post have to raise it up, maybe 10, 12 dB. And it's a pretty decent um, signal in terms of noise. It doesn't have that much noise. This has a kind of a different gain structure in it. And again, I come from an audio background, and maybe none of you guys run into this because uh, maybe I'm hearing things that maybe you guys aren't, but it, this gives off a somewhat of a digital sounding noise when you use the VO Mic Pro. When you use the internal mic, you don't hear it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate that now because I've also have a contact with Rode, and they asked me to make this video real quick so they can understand what I'm hearing because they had a GH4, but they gave it back and they didn't have a chance to test it with their own mic. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to be totally quiet and then when I you see me return, I'll be recording it with the GH4 um, audio. The same position, I'm just going to connect it right up to here and then you can hear the difference. I'm not going to apply any noise reduction or anything. So I'm going to be quiet for about 5 or 10 seconds and you'll see me cut to this microphone. All right, so you should hear a little bit more noise now that we're using the Rode VideoMic Pro right into the GH4. Um, I'm pretty close. I would say I'm probably less than two feet. I'd say it maybe 18 inches away from the microphone. Um, just for settings, um, Rode VideoMic Pro is set at zero. There's no way I can do it at a plus 20. The way the gain structure is set up on the Panasonic, there's just not enough um, pad, if you want, uh, or more of a line level input. Um, it's a little bit too sensitive. I wish they would bring it down a little bit. If there's a way to do that in firmware, that would be awesome. Um, so I could get as much signal out of here and then, you know, bring this down as far as I could. Let all the work be done at the microphone level. So what I've got here is I got a minus 12 dB, lowest I can go on the Panasonic GH4. And that, like I said, it's at zero. And what I have to do is since I'm talking relatively close, I actually have to add the limiter because there's sometimes where I'll peek out that I've noticed in other recordings that I've done. I'll actually, you know, hit that limiter pretty hard and it does a pretty good job of protecting it. So if you ever wonder if you should use it or not, I'd say definitely use it because it sounds pretty decent. It's not too harsh. Um, a few peaks can get through and um, sound distorted, but for the most part, it does a pretty decent job. So what you should have heard is this kind of digital noise. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to raise the volume. Right now I'm at a minus 12, and I'm going to go ahead and raise it. Now we're at minus 10, 8, 6. I'm going to try to talk quieter because it's probably going to get louder. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And near I'm at a plus six. So I'm gonna try to talk pretty quiet. And you should hear this kind of digital noise, what I'd call it. And it sounds pretty nasty when you bring it up. Um, you could put a noise gate on it and you could put a lot of different things. Uh, Adobe Audition has some great tools to get rid of some of this type of stuff, but uh, if I don't have to, I don't want to use it. So I'm going to bring this back down again. All right, now we're back down to a minus 12, and I could talk like a normal volume. So basically what's happening here is, 
you know, I reached out to Panasonic and they were really nice and they said, you know, we've designed this GH4 to be with our own microphone. And their own microphone, which I've got coming in, um, so I can review it, is the DMWMS2 shotgun microphone. Never used it before. Sounds like it's very similar, looks very similar to the this microphone. But they said basically it's the GH4 is based off of a tip ring ring sleeve connector, whereas um, the Rode Vito mic, I believe, uses it just a tip ring sleeve. So there's only three conductors on the actual uh, plug. So it sounds like from what Panasonic's saying, um, give you the gist of what their email said, is basically there's some sort of ground, grounding issue. Um, and I've also talked to Rode, and they were very nice, and it sounds like they're gonna send me a couple of different cables to try to um, basically change the pinout or the, the connectors that go into the GH4 to correct the grounding issue. So we'll see if that works. So I'd like to keep using my Rode VideoMic Pro rather than buying another microphone. Um, so this is just a quick test. Again, this is not my review at all. Um, like Philip Bloom says, many times when you get a brand new camera, you're gonna run into some quirks that you're like, oh, that's a deal breaker. But then later on, you're able to find a fix or a workaround. Um, I've definitely run into several quirky issues with the uh, Panasonic. And you know, this, this being one of them, um, I've got other ones. If you guys follow me on like, uh, gosh, Flickr, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Google Plus, Instagram, I have accounts all there, and I'll put links to those in the description below, as well as um, my blog post if you wanna follow me, because I'm posting a lot of pictures and some of the tests that I'm running. So if you're interested, you know, because it's still gonna be a couple of weeks till I review this, and I know some of you guys are like, when's the review coming out? I don't know, I'd say maybe a couple of weeks. Um, I'm still kind of undecided where I'm going with this camera, but it's a very exciting camera. So, all right, that's pretty much it. I will talk to you guys later, bye.